Hello everybody, how's it going? We are back here today on this side of our world. If you guys don't know where it is, that is our bell tower, that is our main tower thing. There's the water thing that we've built, the water reservoir, and the mountain we were working on in the last episode. It's just behind there. So if that gives you some kind of a whereabouts as to where we are in our world, I hope it does. Uh, but if not, don't worry about it. We'll find out soon enough. What we are doing in this part, you may ask, is we are going to be building in this area, which is kind of strange. And I know it's not part of our area right there. We haven't finished our mansion, which you can actually see there. There's the mansion, if that gives you any idea. Uh, we haven't finished that, but I thought I would, you know, I, I felt like doing something a bit different. And I felt like taking a step away from the mansion. It's coming along quite nicely, and we can see what we do on this side here. Do we have more? Yes, we do. Perfect. Um, I'm not too sure why I don't have these. I think this is one of those chunk issues once before that broke this and I just haven't fixed this up. So I thought I may as well finish it up right now. Uh, what we are doing here is based on a comment that I received probably a few days ago, maybe a week ago. And I've received this before where it suggests that we build a ruined house. And I, I don't I don't mind that idea. Oh, it's uh, about to be night time. Let's check. Can we get... Uh... I don't get that sometimes. <laughs> if you shoot straight up... You just kind of fall back down, and not, if not, you just kind of, yeah, slowly go. Look at that. How awesome is it? I'm loving this fog. I, uh, I know we changed to it in the last episode, and I kind of felt like it was a bit weird, but I I'm kind of, it's, it's growing on me quite a lot. I think it's a, a, a very good change for us, and overall, I think it just adds a little bit of mystery, that little bit of uh, something else that we don't have. What's in here? Okay, good. We can use those at some stage. They'll be really handy. So let's go on this way, and I'll explain what we are doing with these uh, with these ruins. So let's actually go from our city and see if we will be able to see it. And I'll show you the mountain over there, how it's how it's uh, looking shortly. Oh man, we just missed it. We can we can get on this roof here. So the suggestion was to put a ruined house in around the mountain, but I was feeling maybe down here would be very appropriate. It kind of pulls into the the story of our world as such, even though we haven't got a, a true story, uh, things have happened in this world, really, and when we just started, this would probably have been around episode 3, 4, it would, it would have been ridiculously early in the series. Uh, we were busy building in there, probably even episode 2 for that matter. We were building there and we saw that everything here was busy burning down. And the reason for that would have been for a lava pool around here somewhere, which I'm probably bound to fall in right now. It's somewhere, trust me, believe me, it's there. <laughs> um, I just don't know where it is. But there was a lava pool burning that sent set everything on fire here, and I thought, oh, that's kind of interesting, maybe we can use that to tie into the reason why we would be building a ruined village, or well, a ruined uh, house in here. Now I've given away my ruined village idea. So uh, what I want to do is make a little mini village as though it was part of a town, like a small town outside of here that was connected to this farming village in, like, for some reason, maybe. I don't know. Maybe that will be kind of interesting. I don't feel like I should be building it too... Actually, you know what? It could be kind of cool if we had this sort of style going on in here. Maybe that will actually be kind of good. We can use a bit of the spruce, a bit of the, this bone block and stuff like that. Get ourselves some really cool looking houses. I actually, I actually like that idea quite a bit. Let's head up here and maybe just plan our positioning uh, out for this. Oh, no, 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 no. And, of course, we're not going to make it there. That's why I got these. Perfect. Alright, so maybe if we build it around this area here, just it's not going to be huge. It's going to be relatively small. Nothing too complicated. Maybe a few houses. Uh, we'll build a little bridge over. Something like that. And I think that will look really, really cool. And what's going to be even cooler is we're going to be ruining these houses. So I don't know if we're going to build them ruined straight up, or if we're going to make them ruined after we have built them, but I think it'll be pretty cool to just give that a try and see how it comes out. So maybe we can start off by marking off a few of these places. Uh, these things over here from when I fixed the last uh, last little issue that we had with this area here with, with the chunks messed up. So we'll, we'll replace that, just so it looks, looks better. <laughs> Okay, so let's get out some of these, like that, and we'll... Ooh, what, what did we do those? We did those with oak still at the bottom. Interesting. Okay. And we'll probably... Let's get this. We'll probably need a few more... Did I not... I didn't bring my, uh, my logs, my wood thing, my planks thing. That's alright. 
Uh, we're just going to lay out a bit of a, a basic outline here anyway. So if we do that, we'll get this one out here. And we'll take some of those there. Cool. Alright, so if we had this area here, uh, we already know that we have a path coming this way, which we might have even be able to take a bridge off. So just to get ourselves thinking along this line, yep, we've got a path here. We can pull this path down this way, make a bridge across here, and pull it up in this way. So let's just mark this out as we go, our thoughts at least. So we do that, go here, up this way, and into the village, which is over here. All right, that'll work. Then what we're going to have to do is build a few small houses. They're not going to be huge houses. They're nice and easy. Not going to take us very, very long to build, I don't think. And it's just going to make this area look a little bit nicer from that side of the base. It's not going to be a functional area uh, as such. It's just going to be a bunch of houses for looks from that side there. So how big is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. And we're not going to make, make them too, too big as well. Uh, along this side just because of the reason that if we did make them really really large They uh, they might look out of proportion at a distance So they might not look as far away as they actually are. Is that five as well? That is five as well. Perfect All right, so we do that and we can then go ahead and just come out another five or so Maybe even just go out this way. So we go one two three four and five and there we go and all done. Wonderful. So that's that's kind of the stuff that we're going to do now. I'm probably going to lay out a few more of these. Uh, we'll just do this one over here. Is that right? I think that's right. Yeah. Good. All right. So maybe another one over here. Maybe another one here. Probably about four or five, maybe even six houses. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make this little area in the middle here. Because I'm planning on having a little bit of a common area in the middle. Where we have a maybe just a, dirt, a path block thing which we can even do right now just make a, a bit of a path block thing just to get it all sort of planned out here there around this way and then this will eventually connect up into this right here there and then we'll take it down to our bridge which we're going to have to build at some stage over there i think that'll look pretty 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 damn cool let's head up here Yeah, that'll look really, really awesome. So what I'm going to have to do now is probably just plan out a few more of these houses around the place. All right, so coming into this mountain area, I want to show you how it's all looking. It hasn't gone through too much change. Let's maybe land. Nice and graceful like that. So <laughs> uh, this is what it's looking like right now. It's kind of... I think it's working. I think it's looking pretty cool. It actually looks pretty awesome when you fly from a distance. Let's just do this quick. And come over here. It's starting to work, I think. And once we've got the trees in, you won't even notice that. It's a little bit misshapen. And from the back even, I've just done... I've done all, all of the... Uh, well, actually, I haven't done all of the stuff. Um, but most of the rock stuff that I wanted to do here. Let's check this out around. That'll do. There. See what I mean? Just that sort of thing going on there. I think that's working really, really well. The next stage of this, obviously, will be the trees. And also over here, oh, let's go up here. I want to discuss this part as well. This over here will look very, very weird when we start putting in trees because obviously this is savannah and the, the leaves go like that color there. Very, very weird color. So what I'm planning on doing is still using this biome as a biome separator. So this will be a separate biome, which it's slowly going to merge into, which is a bit more barren just near the, the ocean because this is going to be ocean, don't forget. This is eventually going to be an ocean. And this biome over here, we're going to make it a little bit more rocky. We're going to make it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, barren. So we'll probably just have a few bushes, maybe one or two trees. And that will be pretty much it. And I also want to get into doing a few rocks over here at the, uh, the front of the ocean. I think that will look really, really good. Uh, plus, at some stage, I want to fix up this because that looks really, really dumb being all flat like that. Maybe create a few things inside here make it look a little bit more interesting because it's looking very very boring I think and I don't like that so I, I probably will fix that up very very shortly now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this area here I'm going to go fix up a few of these houses and we'll be right back look at that <laughs> I think it's looking pretty damn awesome this is that one we just the well the one we just built uh, when we first started I want to show you what's going on because I've got a few others around here well two well one <laughs> two in total We've got this one here and this one here. And the way I've tackled this uh, 
Man, again? Really? We know we can do that. Uh, yes. What we've done is we have... Well, I actually built this one first. I decided to do this one a bit over here as if it was going just over the water on a few stilts. We'll have a look at that a bit closer. But I wanted to keep a theme of this kind of rounded roof. And that's what I've gone for over here with the roof kind of decaying, breaking away. And there's a lot of a lot of things that you can really do with a, a broken house, which is actually quite awesome. I, uh, I still have to think of a way to add in stuff that looks like it's been burned to a crisp. So obviously I was thinking maybe some darker, like darker wood planks might look kind of cool. Let's actually grab those. And also maybe some, oh, those actually could be quite useful as well. Over there. Perfect. All right. So the idea is that we want this over here to look burnt. So if we put in these, does that look a bit more burnt? Kind of, but not really. But it's it's all about the idea, I guess, uh, to some extent. So if we just do a few, it's not going to be too many. And look at that. I, I've just decided I would go a bit crazy with the half slabs, a bit more with the uh, stairs and stuff like that to make it look a bit broken up. And I think it is looking pretty broken up. Walls kind of falling down here. Uh, also, one idea that I had, well, thought that I had was, I know a lot of the time when buildings collapse, the doorways and the windows and stuff tend to stay intact, because they tend to be a bit more stronger above there, and I thought I would, I would try and use that as a bit of a thing going on here, just like what we've got in here. And this is really, I think, looking pretty good as far as a, an abandoned, broken down, rubble kind of house <laughs> could go, so I think that's pretty damn good. What I'm going to do here is I'm probably going to build this house a lot more broken. I'm not going to go very high with this. It might not even have a roof. I think we might even just do that right now. Just make it look like it's got absolutely destroyed in this uh, this fire that we had. But we have to we have to really make it look as if the fire, uh, fire did happen. Because it really doesn't look like that at the moment. I was thinking maybe some of these could look kind of cool as well. As if these were like burnt. Uh, but they just don't look dark enough. Maybe on the top if we could get the dark oak wood... These, these might work a bit better, a bit, a little bit better. <laughs> and we will do that. Yeah, that looks burnt. We might even just leave that there as if something of some sort was there once. So let's just get a few of these. We'll replace some of these around the base as well, or this uh, town with some of these as well. Do something like that as if it's fallen over. And now we'll just go a bit crazy, because as I say, I want this one to look like it doesn't even have a roof. We'll make as if the roof has caved in around it. And the way, as I say, I was doing it, it was, at first I was thinking, I'm going to build the house, and then go and break it down. I kind of built the walls for that one, then broke it down eventually. And then what I did after that was, I decided, hey, I might as well try this from the beginning and see how it goes once we, like, do it all together. Like, break it down from the start. And I feel like that's the better way to do this. So we'll get out these. We'll go straight from here with some of these things. And I like the way the ground is, how it's all broken down like this with the different levels. It makes it a bit more interesting. And not only that, it also makes it look like it's maybe been destroyed in its own right with this uh, this thing that's happened here. So there we go. Do a few more here. Do a few over there. And I also want to show you the view from the base, which is looking pretty, pretty awesome. I went around there and just had a look at it. It's looking quite a lot better. And we will do that. No. <laughs> and that there. There we go. That's awesome. Now, I also want to not only do these walls, but I want to put in a roof that's collapsed in here as well, which I think will make it look a little bit more authentic as if it has been destroyed like that. And there. No. <laughs> then, of course, the sun's about to go down. Uh, maybe we can do some stuff like this as if there's like some big planks that have fallen down here maybe on top of each other like that and we'll we'll just add in a few of these around the place let's see that man that's looking really really awesome it's actually surprisingly easy to build a terrible ruined house uh, well a good ruined house <laughs> it's um it's looking a lot nicer than what i expected that is yep set off a firework and come on hurry up there we go. Perfect. So we can get going back on this. Now, there. Wonderful. And there. So we can add in a few more pieces here. I think if we do some over there. There. Broken around that. Good. And just to make it look like this. I think this is looking 
pretty close to what I had hoped. Well, hoped for, not what I thought would happen. Yeah, that's cool. Now, it's just this one to do, but what I want to also add in into this village is maybe a bit of something, like a well or something that also was once here in the middle here. And, oh, actually, is, do we have enough space in the middle? Maybe not. Maybe we'll do it over here. Just a small well, because I think the houses are one thing, but just to cry, try and make it look like there was a community here once, this will really add on to that and make it a bit more uh, believable. So we do that. Do the... No. Perfect. There, and we will add in some of these. So if we can take out those... And some of those, I think, will we'll do the trick. So this is me pretty much... Uh, no. <laughs> this is me kind of just seeing how I can build one. I am doing this completely off the top of my head right now. So hopefully we can get a good looking well from this over here. So if we do that, do some of these. And one more, one more, one more. Perfect. And then we'll start going on a bit of a roof here. And there. We'll get a shape of it soon enough. And there. Perfect. Alright, so I want to see what type of a roof shape we can get here. I think I can get a an interesting thing going on here. Do that there. There. Get rid of some of these. And pull this out here. And can we... Maybe we'll, we'll leave these off for a bit. Can we do this here? Like that, that, yep, we can. There, there. Perfect. And I know we're doing something even, but I think this over here, because it's small enough, we could get away with an even build. Oh, no. There, there. Let's see how that looks from a distance. We'll have to get rid of that. We'll definitely need something else out here. So maybe what we can do is something like this. There. And then we build on a little bit of a roof on the outside here. Oh man, you serious? There we go. Like a roof like this. There. There. And see this. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, that looks a lot more like a well. So I want to put in one more over here. No. Uh, let's just do this one more in over here. And we'll finish off this one. Then we can go have a look at it from the base. Because I think the base really does... Like, that's where we want it to look like. You know, we want it to look good. You know what I mean? We want everything at the that area there to be able to be seen. Uh, although... What am I doing? Yeah, I've done this wrong. Yeah. Uh, well, what I want this all to be somewhat visible, but obviously we don't want it to be completely in your face. So I think we have achieved it, but we will have to find out just after this one, which is somehow taking a bit longer than I expected. So let's do that there, and we don't mess up, and we can get going with this right now, pretty much. There. The last one. Perfect. See? It can be nice and easy. There. Oh. <laughs> you get a burnt one. Just because. Alright. Now, let's have a look at this from a distance. I think we're going to like it. I hope we're going to like it. Yeah, look at that. It's just looking like it's a, a real deal town that existed or village that existed here. And it's really starting to add on. Maybe just finishing off this one. And that will be perfect. I don't think we're going to have to do too, too much to get this to work for us. Let's have a look from the bell tower. I think that could be an awesome view. There. Perfect. Yeah, look at that. Just in the distance. So as, you, as you're around here, you can just see it in the distance with the fog and everything that's working really awesome. Man, I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm pretty grateful for this... Uh, the suggestion, that's an awesome suggestion, I'm just saying, that is really, really good. Man. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I think for today, we will probably end the episode here. I'm going to add in one of these over here. This will probably be in the thumbnail, so have a look at that. But yeah, thank you so much for your support, guys. It has been really, really awesome in the past few episodes. Really, really awesome, in fact. 
Uh, so thanks for that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.